Now, this lady, by the name of Hell Betty, compares paying child support to her ex Gabriel to extortion. And I gotta say, I do agree with her, especially once you hear her argument. But what I find interesting is that there are so many men that are in the same situation. And you don't hear about them in the media. But the moment it's happening to a rich American woman, then it's on Vanity Fair magazine. Like, then her experiences are worthy of consideration. So I just wanted to put that out there. Because usually, when it comes to custody, the woman gets the custody. Usually, statistically speaking. Right? And you don't get to hear about the men complaining. Especially when it's about alimony and child support. Like, if you're a man, and you're married, and for some reason you lost your job, okay? Like, the government wants to keep you safe, they shut down your business, and now you're unemployed. So your wife files a no-fault divorce. Now you need to pay child support and alimony, but if you can't, you go to jail. So, before, while you're in the marriage, it's fine if you don't contribute. Well, I mean, it's fine as in you don't go to jail if you don't contribute. Now that a divorce happens, you go to jail unless you, you find a way to give. How does that make any sense? There are some states which have this legislation. Okay, so I do agree with her that the laws are outdated. Why? Because America is suffering from so much progress that ideologically they have left the reservation and the laws are struggling to catch up. For example, right now, all of the media and all of Hollywood and everyone in, on social media and in civilized circles believes in empowerment. Like, we live in an age where people are empowered and you can raise a child by yourself. Like, you don't need the traditional family to raise children. Then why is it that you need to pay child support if that's the case? Like, the, the concept of child support works in a culture where marriage is necessary, where, where the traditional marriage is required to raise kids, then you need child support. If you believe in empowerment, then you don't need child support, right? So that's what she is saying when she points out that the laws are outdated. And then when you look at the concept of alimony, like the idea of alimony is to allow women who don't earn money, who are housewives and couldn't get a job, to be able to file for a divorce. That and then they, they can get money from their husband in order to maintain the same lifestyle, right? Like that, that is the concept of alimony. But again, we live in the age of empowerment. I mean, women can get jobs now, right? So alimony doesn't make sense. Now, what she talks about regarding child support is not that she's against the concept of it, but I do agree with her that having to pay $16,000 a month is fucking ridiculous, especially when the other spouse doesn't have to prove that every single cent goes towards the child. I mean, in this situation, the spouse can use $1,000 to pay for the child's clothing, to pay for the food, to pay for everything else the child needs. And the other $50,000 he can use to go clubbing. He can use to enjoy the company of other Ushikushi ladies. So I can see why she's upset, but take into account that this happens to men all the fucking time. Right? Like, when a man has to pay child support, the ex-wife also doesn't have to justify what she does with the money. And she can just use it for herself. And you don't get to see that in Vanity Fair. Especially. Especially when there are viral TikTok videos with the ladies teaching other ladies how to game the system. And they're like, y'all out of your mind having five kids with one baby daddy. Like what you want to do is to have different kids with different baby daddies. And then you get all the income from different baby daddies and you make a lot of money. I don't blame those ladies because they have a point. I mean, they're just playing the meta. They're playing the new patch notes, right? Like, that that's the way you get to play if you want to make money. Sure, I absolutely agree. You get, you get like, five different baby daddies. Every, every single one contributes. And then you make a lot of cash, right? Why? Because the law doesn't verify if the money that's made actually goes to the children. Like, you can use, she can use the bare minimum for the children and then use what's left to fuel her lifestyle. It's not illegal. It's not a crime. I mean, you, you can make the argument that it's immoral, but how would you even prove it? So that is a problem. And then they talk about alimony, right? She says, uh, when asked uh, by another fan if she thinks that men paying alimony and child support is also wrong, she says, I'm not going to speak on alimony as I have never asked for it, nor have I ever paid for it. Well, this is part of the problem, isn't it? Like, if you're not going to speak out 
on issues that don't concern you. Why do you expect other people to speak out on issues that concern you? Like, if you're not going to show empathy, why would you expect other people to feel for you? I mean, I can be, well, I never paid $16,000 for child support. Therefore, not my business, not my problem. Right? Like, if you're not going to show that you can understand why that is a bad thing, especially when it's so similar to the situation you're in, why would you expect other people to show compassion and care about you? I mean, the thing with alimony, again, it doesn't really make sense because the ideology has moved away from that and the laws aren't able to catch up. The concept of alimony existed in a society where women couldn't get jobs, so they were stay-at-home wives. So in the case where a woman is abused and she needs a divorce, then she gets alimony so that she doesn't reach a situation where he's so financially dependent to the husband that she can't leave him. But now we live in the age of empowerment. Women can get jobs. They can earn as much as husbands. Like, there is absolutely nothing stopping a lady from trying to get a good job and then after a divorce she can uh, manage to feed herself. Like, for example, this... Uh, Mrs. by the name of Halle Berry, right? Like, she doesn't need alimony because she's making her own money. But the concept, like, she can still talk about the fact that, yeah, like, the law doesn't make sense in 2022. It made sense in the 1940, but it doesn't make sense today. But she doesn't want to do that. Why? Because it's politically incorrect. Because then she gets the feminists up her ass. So she, she would rather play a safe game. And it's like, okay, you want to play a safe game, but then why would you want other people to carry this battle for you? Because a lot of people don't have to pay child support either. I don't have to pay child support. At least not yet. <laughs> but still, right? So you can't, you can't have it like this. You can't, you can't force people to fight your battle if you're not willing to um, at least care about other people's problems. Uh, and then it's like women don't owe you shit. Well, I, I think they do. Like I, I think a judge said that you do. I think you owe $16,000 a month. I do agree that, uh, that she shouldn't. I do agree that this is ridiculous uh, when it happens to men and women. Like, I, I think that the law needs to change. Like, th this is absolutely bullshit. Uh, but then you go on and you see, she continues, I feel if a woman or a man is having to pay support that is way more than the reasonable needs to help support the child, I think it's wrong. I understand that some parents may need help, but I also feel that in the modern times, both men and women have the responsibility to financially take care of their children and work hard to make every effort to do so. They, the way many laws are set up are for people to be allowed to use children in order to be awarded money to live a lifestyle that not only they did not earn, but that is way above and beyond the child's reasonable needs. Oh, well, this is an American thing, isn't it? Like the concept of anchor baby, right? Like you, you go and then you get the government to take care of you, right? Because that that's... Part of American culture. And at a microscopic level, yeah, you do have couples that use children as a way to improve their lifestyle. And there is no social stigma against it. That's the problem, right? Like, for example, racism in the United States, like saying racist jokes isn't illegal because you have free speech. But there is social stigma against it. There is no social stigma against doing things like this, like using a child cynically in order to improve your lifestyle. So... What can you do? Let me know what you guys think, though. And I'll see you in the comment section. Take care.